Hello, everyone. My name is Lindsay. Um, just a very brief, brief introduction. Um, good to have you all here. Um, again, my name is Lindsay, and this is how you spell it. Okay, I have realized that a lot of people don't know is um, how my name is pronounced. So it's pronounced Lindsay. Okay, with a Z, like the letter Z, as Lindsay. I love this name, so don't mispronounce it. Next time you see me, okay, see me in real person, or see me in session, just call me Lindsay, okay? So how is everyone doing tonight? We have a pretty tense topic today, so um, I want to make sure everyone's doing well before we begin. How is everyone doing? Mm -mm. Good, fine. Okay, so if you haven't been to my session before, um, let me state that I love participation, okay, during my sessions. So please do not hesitate to type in the text box on the left hand side of your window, okay, type in the text box with um, any questions, any concerns, opinions, feelings, anything, okay, and I will be happy to respond. Now let's get started. Today we are going to talk about how to survive during the economic downturn, okay, and today we're mostly going to talk, talk about how to survive after were laid off, were fired, were and, and out of a job, okay? So here we go. Um, as the economic downturn sweeps across the global market and the overall economy, the number of layoffs continue to rise. Following any economic downturn, there is an expect expected increase of unemployment rates, whether by layoffs, downsizing, or firing. The unemployment in the United States soared up to 7.2% in December 2008, the highest in 16 years. The economic situation right now is unquestionably one of the most stressful situations most people will ever face. Okay, so this data, this data right here, 7.2% just came out last week. Okay, um, it, I believe it was only 4.6 in September of last year. So it went up a lot in a period of just three months. So, um, have you guys been affected? Or do you guys know anyone who has been affected by this particular economic situation right now? And anyone? Or do you feel that you will be if affected? Okay, nobody's willing to answer that question. So I'm assuming, okay, I am assuming that um, not every one of you is affected, but you probably know somebody, you know, who has to take no pay vacations. Okay, um, it's very common in Taiwan. I have no idea why, but um, it's difficult. Okay, this is a difficult time, and I think everyone can see the effects of it. Okay, a lot of um, there aren't as many employment opportunities. Okay, it's harder to find a job right now, even if you're not fired or laid off. Okay, it's hard to find a job. Um, if you are considering a career change. So, um, in order to survive during a time of unemployment, one must take several cost-cutting measures, which could mean either a radical change in lifestyle or on one's household budget. Okay, Rad radical means extreme, okay, a very big change. So, let's continue. First things first, never wait until the last minute to decide what to do when an economic recession or downturn looms. Start planning ahead for all the possible things that may occur, even if you're financially stable. In order to survive 
an economic downturn, you must first adjust your attitude. Take some comfort in knowing that you are not the only person suffering this situation. An economic downturn, slowdown, or recession affect most individuals and families around the world, meaning there is always help out there for you. Okay, so um, be ready. Okay, first thing you have to do is prepare yourself mentally. Okay, mentally, in your head. Convince yourself that everything will be okay. Unless that's what I do, okay? Um